well welcome back it is now uh, Wednesday or perhaps Thursday that you're watching this um, it is April 29 or 30 depending on when you're watching it and that means we are at the end of April uh, gonna start into May and then we've only got a couple more weeks in June and we will be done with this school year uh, the weather is getting better so if you're headed outside, do a little exercise. I know I was out this morning, went for a 10 mile bike ride. So um, uh, go ahead and uh, get, keep yourself in shape. It's a good thing to do, get a little fresh air as long as you're maintaining that, that social distancing. Um, that's what they tell us uh, we should be doing. So you started in on stoichiometry last time and we're going to do some more of that today but first we've got to do a starter in seesaw so get your device going and uh, uh, whether that is um, uh, your ipad or your chromebook um, we're going to practice some calculations some of the feedback i got from you uh, the last day or two is that you'd like a little bit more practice with calculating mole to mass conversions um, uh, cross multiply and divide so we'll do a little of that and then we're going to do uh, kind of a fun lab it's a virtual lab uh, it's on YouTube actually and some of my students down in Medford actually uh, did the lab and uh, recorded it uh, and it's been on YouTube for many years uh, and so we'll be able to use that to do some stoichiometry with a synthesis reaction those of you who noticed, Fred isn't here today. Weather's nice, and he is late to class again. All right, let's get started, and hopefully Fred will be here. All right, well, I heard Fred banging on the door, and so I had to go let him in. Um, and so he's here today. Um, Late again, right, Fred? Out there enjoying the sunshine. I know life is uh, life's kind of tough. That when you have that chance, you like to get out, and enjoy the sunshine a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get going with our starter. All right, so our starter today, April 29 and 30. Remember, you're going to be over in Seesaw, and I'm thinking that uh, a drawing is probably best suited for what we're going to be working on. So question one says one mole of H2SO4 uh, is 100 grams for one mole of it. So go over to the periodic table, add up the pieces and parts, see what you get, mark it true or false. Number two, two moles of magnesium. What is the mass of two moles of magnesium? 24 grams, 48 grams, or 36 grams? All right, number three. I'm giving you a complete balanced reaction. Six moles of sodium plus one mole of nitrogen produces two moles of sodium nitride. Okay, that is a correct equation, fully balanced. Uh, now, what I want to ask you is kind of a recipe question. If I only use three moles of sodium, how much sodium nitride would I produce? Half a mole, one mole, or two moles? All right, number four, complete the following reaction. I'm gonna start with boron and uh, oxygen. I've already told you that oxygen's diatomic, put the little two in there. And I'd like you to complete the rest of the reaction. And then number five, based on that reaction, if you started with 22 grams of boron, I'd like to know how much boron oxide is actually gonna be produced. So you can do kind of our recipe way of ballparking it, or if you're comfortable, you could even go back and, uh, and do a stoichiometry process with this. Whichever way you are most comfortable with is fine with me. All right, I'll give you a chance to work on that, and then we'll get back together. <laughs> 